So now in this video, we're going to look at a uh, really uh, simple component that I think is pretty cool. So this is the uh, LM334, as you can see right there. And uh, its pin layout is, when you're looking at the flat side, the left pin is V+, plus, the middle pin is R, and then the pin to the right is V-. minus. So if we turn it this way, and we put the top pin... Uh, v plus to the positive side of the power supply and then the uh, V minus over there the right pin which is now the bottom pin over here because we're going to measure a current so we're going to leave a gap right there now what this component does is it takes a varying voltage and it outputs a certain current so to begin with let's drop the voltage all the way down to one volt and now the current doesn't depend on voltage it actually depends on resistance so we're gonna take a, a 68 ohm resistor right here and we're gonna connect it from the R pin to the V minus pin or V minus to R however you want to look at it so this is a 68 ohm resistor that I got out of this package here so right there 68 and uh, so this number is gonna work uh, pretty well if it's somewhere close to about 64 68 ohms right here so we got the uh, multimeter here and we will uh, just take a quick voltage look right now that we are dealing with uh, pretty much spot on one volt at the rail right there so we got a tiny bit of loss but uh, for the most part it's a pretty spot on. Now we're going to go to milliamps of current right here. And uh, we expect one milliamp of current with this resistor. And that is even with changing voltages. So right there you can see one milliamp of current just a speck uh, below right there. Now we will raise the uh, voltage to five volts. Let's just go right to there. And uh, the current is uh, pretty much exactly the same right there. I think it went up a spec because the component's a little bit warmer than it was. Uh, but it's uh, pretty much spot on. Exactly the same amount of current right there. And uh, we can show that uh, the voltage did indeed change at the uh, rail right there to 5 volts. So just a spec below. That's why I usually put it a tab higher than what you see there but uh, right now this is working good so in any case we can uh, go back to milliamps we're done uh, measuring voltage and uh, I showed that uh, we actually did have a different voltage at the rail so now we're going to grab a 680 ohm resistor so now we have more resistance it still starts with 68 though so it makes the math easy more resistance less current pretty straightforward right there and I think this can go up to 10 milliamps of current probably a little bit higher but I think that's what it's rated for the LM334 and so now we got uh, 5 volts there we're set to uh, milliamps even though we expect it to be below milliamps so I can either go there or go over here and uh, it doesn't like taking that reading that's pretty low in the range so we'll go to micro amps so a milliamp is 1000 microamps so microamps are a lot smaller we expect uh, 100 on there for uh, microamps and we have that there so we don't need to look at the power supply right now the uh, microamps there so again that will change uh, even as voltage change so there's the mu for micro and uh, we can go to 10 volts right there and it might be a spec higher but it'll be practically the same right there 100 micro amps so let's go back to uh, milliamps right now and I don't know if I have a 6.8 ohm resistor somewhere that one doesn't seem when I go there but I do have a 7.5 ohm resistor and so we were using 68 to begin with 
this is 7.5 so it's uh, not quite a tenth the resistance of the 68 ohm it's uh, a little bit more and uh, so now we are at milliamps we expect just shy of 10 milliamps because this is not quite one tenth the uh, resistance a little bit more right there and there you can see we got 9 ohms of resistance that is with 10 volts and uh, I don't remember the maximum voltage for this component I'm pretty sure I think we can even do 20 no problem but uh, main takeaway is there we go we just doubled the voltage and uh, as it warms up though it is letting a little bit more current go through so that is something to be aware of I think though at uh, lower currents that won't be as bad let's go to the micro amp range again and so it should be a hundred micro amps and so I didn't really plan this out I'm just kind of remembering what I covered in the last video so there you can see about uh, 0.1 micro uh, milliamps which is the same as a hundred micro amps right there and uh, so there you can see lower currents it's holding a lot better even at uh, 20 volts so let's uh, since we yanked that resistor let's get this out of uh, the meter out of micro amps to uh, milliamps that's uh, kind of the worst thing you can do with a meter most of the time is measure current when it's not in a range that uh, you have it set for you don't want to measure more current than what you have the meter set for and uh, so we go back that's uh, 9 milliamps it's uh, warming up though and uh, so it's being thrown off but let's uh, let's go to 10 and we can go down to uh, probably even 1 volt now we'll go to another extreme right there so we had had a 9 milliamps and let's see if that's enough voltage that may be, yeah, that's a little too low of a voltage, it looks like, to get that much current. So we'll go up to uh, 2 volts right there. And there we go. We got the uh, 9 milliamps of current. So one was a little low for that much current. But in case, there you can see, it is uh, pretty reliable right there. So I think that's a really cool component. I'm probably going to use it maybe in the next video, but in an upcoming video. And so I thought I would do a brief review. I did a longer video with the diagram in the past and stuff. But uh, in any case, uh, I just wanted to get a little more experience this, uh, or uh, practice with it, since I haven't used it in a while. Figured I would make a video. So hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.